Okay guys, today we're talking about the new Victorinox design versus the old Victorinox design. Which is still the best, or which is the best, and which one should you consider getting? Let's jump right into it. So as these Victorinoxes proceed to fall right off my little log here, I wanted to talk about a quick tip that is completely unrelated and random to this video. But I will say guys, if you're looking for a way to make your mechanics winter gloves so much easier to put on, consider adding just a small little bit of paracord like this. It makes the world of difference when you're throwing on these gloves, especially when you have your other glove on, you're trying to put the other one on. It's amazing. Okay, side tangent aside, let's talk about these blades. So when I mean new versus old design, I'm not necessarily talking about new Victorinoxes. Obviously, this newer design has been around for a long time. This is a very old rucksack that is very well loved and used, probably a little bit abused to be honest, but it is a very well uh, used blade. Now, ultimately, what I mean, what I need to talk about in this video is a blade-focused Victorinox versus a non-blade-focused Victorinox. Which one is the best, and which one do I prefer, or which one do I like? So that's what the primary premise of this video is going to be about. So with this, we're going to be talking about the rucksack, of course, uh, for the example of a knife-focused Victorinox, and we have the ranger for a non-knife-focused Victorinox. So ultimately, I have to say that Victorinox, you know, not too long ago, but I think it was now a couple decades ago, released this kind of push towards knife-focused Victorinox multi-tools. And so essentially what this tool is, is it has different, you know, multi-function pieces here. You have bottle openers, can openers, you know, you have a corkscrew on the back, you know, you have an awl as well. So you have some good, valuable tools, but primarily the focus of the tool is on the blade and usually this results in a longer blade and a blade that usually locks so as you guys can see here this little gray piece of plastic is the lock for the main blade of this tool now to everyone so everyone is probably going to have a different opinion or a different uh, you know look on this but I personally have never been a huge fan of knife oriented Victorinoxes and the primary reason why is that when you do go over to a knife oriented Victorinox like this rucksack or an outrider or many of the other different uh, multi-tools of Victorinox's lineup that are knife focused you are sacrificing uh, ergonomics with good ergonomics with everything for better ergonomics with just the knife also you are you know giving up tools to get a larger locking main blade now for me I'm not a very large fan of that because for me, the Victorinox has never been my first go-to kind of blade. If I want a main blade, I'll usually go with something primarily a fixed blade, you know, something like my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter or something along those lines where it's going to be a solid main blade. Something like this uh, rucksack really, you know, is not super appealing to me for a, you know, primary use kind of bladed option. So the fact that I'm going for, so the fact that I'm giving up good ergonomics with multiple tools for a tool or a blade that I'm not even the largest fan of has never really quite sat right for me. So that leads us to the Ranger or the Huntsman, you know, many, basically almost all of Victorinox's knives or sorry, multi-tools, you know, are this kind of setup. Now, the reason why I do, like I said, enjoy this kind of oval handle and this less knife focused setup is the fact that it gives me more tools, more versatility in my multi-tool, and it also gives me um, better ergonomics with everything. Now, once again, this is kind of a handle setup that's a jack of all, master of none, so you're going to have good ergonomics with every tool, but not great ergonomics with any tool, whereas, you know, this knife focused blade is going to have a great ergonomics with a blade, and then just okay ergonomics with all the other tools. Now, like I said, the reason why that is kind of unattractive to me is that I really don't just use my Victorinoxes for the knives. Now, I do appreciate, especially with the Huntsman and the Ranger, that it has a main blade. Um, 
but it also has a pen blade as well. Which, for the sake of conversation, I won't pull that one out, but it does also have a pen blade. So, you know, you get your main blade, which is, albeit smaller, but you get your main blade and you also have your pen blade. But you also have a pretty good saw, you also have a file, you have you know, your can opener, your bottle opener, but you have scissors, you have so much more versatility to this. And you know, with the Ranger again, you have you know a chisel and all uh, and a few screwdrivers for odds and ends. And so it's really a very valuable tool to me because I can use it in many different fashions. And I can use this tool more than just for cutting things, which is certainly an important task in um, bushcrafting and survival. But moreover, with the Victorinox Ranger Huntsman, you know, I can use them as tools for crafting, for cutting things up, but I can also use it for crafting traps, crafting dovetail joints. I can use this in multiple different ways that so simply, if I just had my rucksack, it would be impossible to do, or maybe not impossible, but very non-user friendly. Now, one thing I will give to the credit of the rucksack is that at least it makes good use of the larger handle by giving giving you a larger saw blade, but that's pretty much the only thing that I really do enjoy about the rucksack. Not to say that it is a bad tool, it is just fine as far as quality goes. It's a fun tool to use and I do like it, but once again, I find myself very drawn to the traditional Victorinox oval shaped handle because I like the versatility of being able to use all my tools with good ergonomics as opposed to just having a purely knife focused blade and once again having to sacrifice the multifunction of this tool. You know, you have to give up tools to get the locking function in that blade. And personally with me, you know, when it comes back to Victorinox's, you know, I'm not really looking for a locking blade. I don't really want a locking blade on this type of tool. So for me, you know, that's something that I'm more than content to live without because it's something that I don't find particularly valuable in the first place with a Victorinox. Now, of course, I do like tools or knives particularly that have locking main blades, but that's a different kind of circumstance and those are primarily fixed blades themselves. So anyways, that is kind of the new versus the old design of Victorinox. Now, of course, if you are truly going to run, you know, a knife focused carry, or if say, you know, like you might have a hatchet in a tool, you know, like this multi-tool here, that's kind of makes this uh, setup a little bit more attractive but I would not try to put myself in a circumstance where I have only my Victorinox and a hatchet or only my Victorinox and a, a larger saw. So that's kind of my situation and opinion, circumstance and experience with newer designed Victorinoxes versus older designed Victorinoxes. So anyways guys, or knife focused Victorinoxes versus non knife focused Victorinoxes. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless and I'm out.